the phone calling your homeboy. I said, man, guess what's going on? No, call the Heavenly Father, man. You don't, you don't even need a cell phone bill for that. Go ahead. He saw in the vision. Hey, you ain't gonna run out of data, man. Right. Go ahead. He saw in the vision, evidently, about the ninth hour of the day, the angel of the Most High coming to him and saying that to him, Cornelius. But when he looked up on, looked on him, he was afraid. He said, what is it, Lord? He said unto him, thy prayers and thy alms are come up from a memorial before the Most High. Now when, and now send men to Joppa, Joppa, and call for one all right, Simon. let us get that. Go to uh, get started. No, where you at now? Open and, a, and a certain vessel descended up to him, and as it had been. I'm sorry, start, start, start now, so we get the full scope. Acts uh, 10 and 9. On the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew nigh unto the city, Peter went up upon the house to pray about the sixth hour. And he became very hungry and would have eaten, but while they made ready, he fell into the, a trance and saw heaven open. All right. And a certain vessel descended unto him, and he said, as it had been a great sheet knit at four corners. And let down to the earth, wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth and wild beasts and creepy things and the fowls of the air. Right, and, and basically the most I saw him here in this vision to, to give him a message. And this is the message that preachers have misconstrued to the purpose. And they purposely told y'all that this is, this is the passage that they tell y'all to eat pork so you can continue to die of heart disease. This is the passage that they use to tell you it's okay to eat shrimp so you can continue to die of clogged arteries. This is the passage that they use to tell you they eat any kind of abominable foods that are clearly not healthy for you. And if y'all haven't woken up and realized, this is the era where even non-believers are eating healthier. And here it is, you go to church and they tell you they eat greasy, nasty, sloppy food, call it soul food and pray over it so you can die and go see Jesus soon? No, man, Peter was not giving you this parable, or the Lord did not give Peter this vision so he can go and eat unclean foods. Right. He was giving him this parable, so when he seen all these people coming from different nations, he wouldn't reject them, saying, you're not my people, you're not my people, I can't deal with you. He, he clearly showed him this, this, this I'm going to tell you, this is me, what, I'm God the Father. I'm cleaning these people up, Peter. I'm sorry, Cornelius. I'm Take sorry, it. no, Peter. Take it. Yeah. And when they come to you, Peter, you have to accept them. No matter what they look like, no matter what they acting like, no matter where they from, as long as they coming in my name, you deal with them, Peter. And that was a tough thing. 
We know it was tough for Peter because Paul had to get on Peter about the very same thing. So the Lord showed Peter a vision, and Peter still being wishy washy with the Gentiles. They were just with the Jewish circumcision paper. But that just goes to show we all fall short. But Peter, being a man of the Lord, he got his act together. He repented and he quit doing it. Go ahead. Verse 13. And there came a voice to him, rise. Peter, kill and eat. Slay and eat. In other words, you, now you can deal with these things that we, we were told to stay away from. And it's about people, and it's going to get to that. Go ahead. But Peter said, Not so, Lord. Why well, have Remember, not... Peter told the Lord no. <laughs> the Lord told him this up. Peter told the Lord no. Man, he was bold, man. He had to have some cojones to do that. Peter, <laughs> can you imagine that? The Lord said, hey man, you may do this. And Peter said, no, Lord, for I've never. He did it, go ahead. For well, I've never eaten anything that is common or unclean. Right, meaning I, I've never let the, uh, an Asian come close to me. I never let an uh, African come close to me. I never let a person from Libya come close to me. I didn't, I didn't deal with those, I didn't invite them in my house. You were from Ethiopia? I said, get out of here. What are you calling us? I'm telling you, 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 i am telling you Right. When an African is coming in talking about you, how about Shimmy Awashah, he's coming to my house. Because hopefully he's not an African. But if he if he is, how the most high gonna get him. Go ahead. What the most high cleanse, thou call not thou common. Then that's the point. Because we got Israel been scattered in all nations. And they've been they have been they've been getting it on, man, doing the doing the what's it called? The horizontal the hokey pokey, man. <laughs> And they, and, they, and they don't look like a certain people no more. We all mixed up. Go ahead. This was done thrice, and the vessel was received up again into heaven. All right, so Moses I confirmed it, and the vessel was received up into heaven. Now give me Acts, hold what you got, and you give me Acts chapter 11, and we're just going to get right to the point. Uh, start at verse... Seven. Five. Five. This is Acts. Now, he just read from Acts 10. He's about to read Acts 11. Go ahead. And we're going to go back and forth. So keep up. Go ahead. This is Acts chapter 11, verse 4. But Peter rehearsed the You on it? Right. Which one? Acts 11, verse 4. Mexico? No. No, it's ready. You, are you Israeli? Well, you know what Israeli is, right? It's, just, it's like uh, if, if you go to another land, you just inhabit the land. So you are you a Jew? We'll try it. <laughs> hey, you don't know what tribe you're from. Uh, well, what, 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 makes, Joseph. what makes you a Jew? Joseph. No? Joseph? Joseph, his sons were Ephraim and Manasseh. So you, you have to come from Ephraim and Manasseh. Do you know? I'm pretty sure I'm from Judah. You pretty sure you're from Judah? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. All right, go ahead. I, I just, I see he was interested because like, I could try to, try to get a conversation going. Fuck out of here. He said he's from Judah. I doubt it, but you know. You know, you know it's probably for me like that kid woman. This year I'm fucking Yeah, oh, and, and they said he's from Israel. They Israelis. But I mean, we, 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 we know that that's our faith, and that's, it's proof. They don't even know, man. It's just something they talk. I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew. And you you kind of can tell by looking at somebody, you know, see they the spirit, the spirit, give me that, give me that, that, that visual, you know? That, that, that's, that's like a little piece of spiritual power, man. Nothing, nothing fucking amusing and astonishing about you got that glitter man. Here's my food. Especially the ones that's like, like our age or a little bit above, above our age or younger, they don't know shit. 
but we don't know the goddamn. Oh, what's the word? I, all the underhanded shit that, that, that they put for the pool to possess the land and to right. possess the, uh, the, the so called heritage that y'all try to pull our heritage, basically. Y'all try to possess our heritage. Y'all know the underhanded shit that y'all put for the did to, uh, to get that, man. They get the time to put on y'all, man. Let's talk about your goddamn. You, you from Judah. You from Judah? To to Joseph. Joseph. God damn, man. Another thing. This, this wouldn't interest you. Here it is. We're, we're talking about your... I'm just being... Hey, uh, what we just got to say? They already look, took one look at us and say, right, yeah, they ain't for us. Right. 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 <laughs> well, we're talking against that, and that's exactly what they did to us. But they're supposed to do that. Why? Because they're carnal, man. We ain't. We're spiritual. We're, we're, we're no longer carnal anymore. That's, that's why you have to get some more, man. Right. You want to up. I think you're being funny when you say you think you're from Judah. I think you're just being funny. He really didn't know. He had no idea. And then it was funny to him that he didn't know. He was like, wow, nobody ever asked me that. I, right. I, I'm a Jew. I don't I, I, I don't know how to prove it. Man, let my son get five years old. He'll be able to explain to you why he's a Jew. Right. But this guy here is almost 40 years old, it looked like. About 30 in his 30s. He had no idea. No idea. I'm a Jew. I got plenty of money. That's all he know. All right. Yeah. Only way you gonna be a Jew? You gonna be on another Jew's foot? A real Jew's foot, man. When you get a hold of you, devil. Man. No. In the coming days, man. It, it, that's that's what we tired of. We tired of people taking our nationality, running with it. You know. Yeah, spit down on it, like the brother said. And uh, what the what the scripture in Job nine twenty four? Covered to the end of the week. Covered to the end of the week. Man, we gotta, we gotta start with your house shine on, 